Hey guys, if you guys need any online or offline grinding, be sure to hit up Rose NBA. The link to his Twitter will be in the description down below. So be sure to go hit him up now. Boy, do we have a whole new issue here in NBA 2K23, my team. Now there has been some memes in the past of people saying, okay, bye, when's the a new low video? But is it really my fault that 2K just keeps bringing us to a new low? Now, obviously, you guys can see on the screen, this is not my account. So, 2K, I know you're a little special in the head, but this is not my account. What I'm showing on the screen right now is not my account. There's a person literally above me. It is not my account. So, my business, my whatever you want to judge me for, that's fine, but it has nothing to do with this man right above me. However, what does have something to do with the man above me is simply put. You guys don't know who Matt Mojo is, guys. One of the most underrated people in this community. Now, there's several reasons why this man is underrated. One, the most genuine, most nice person I have ever met. This dude literally wants nothing but the best for each and every single individual in the community, whether he likes them or not. He wishes everyone the best, and that is a genuine human being. On top of that, guys, he also has done pack openings every single Tuesday and Friday involving VC. So he has had a good amount of MT the entire year, and it has come from opening packs. He opens them on every single Tuesday and Friday on stream, so all the proof that you would need is there. He also does stream every single day. So with that, all of the ways that he makes his MT, all the way that his, you know, everything basically is on stream. So it's not like he ends stream with 200K and the next day he's back up to 800K. No, he redeems all of his cards on stream. All the proof is there. No buying MT, no grinding services, no nothing. And yet he gets an auction house ban, guys. This is a whole new ban we are seeing in my team now. It says this user account has been banned from the my team auction house due to a violation of our terms of service. Please contact customer service if you feel this was done in error. Now, here's the thing, guys. Like I said, we've obviously found some new methods <clears throat> myself that have been working. A lot of you guys still have not been touched. Actually, most of you guys have not been touched from our new methods. So again, if you guys want to see them or know what they are, just DM me on Twitter and I will gladly let you guys know. Um, but on top of this, guys, like I said, I know my man Matt has not done anything against TOS. I am willing to put everything on me up for him and vouch for him. I know he does not break TOS, okay? That's not what he's about, and that's fine. One, some people can, some people can't. It does not matter what you believe in, what I believe in, what he believes, or not. Well, what I'm saying is, is I believe in him in the fact that he has not done anything against TOS. So going into an auction house ban, guys, basically what this means is you can still play online, you can still play offline, you can still play my team, but you cannot access the auction house. So the only way to get MT basically now in this game is from either playing it, quick selling cards, and opening packs, okay? And even if you obviously do these things, you will not be able to sell your cards, you will not be able to buy cards. So if new cards come out and you do not pull them, you are basically screwed. Now, here's the thing. Like I said, guys, this ban system is still flawed. There is no consistency in this system. So, again, from 2K standpoint, you want to say, okay, people are buying MT. People are doing this, this, and that. They're going to get banned, and they're going to get punished. You know what? Fine. If you want to take the risk and do it, fine. Again, our methods have been working, but nonetheless, if you do it, fine. We are back with another 1 million MT giveaway, guys. To enter, all you guys have to do is use code BIO2K for a discount at checkout at NBA2King.com. They actually break down on the site the best ways to avoid being banned as well, so be sure to check that out, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Here's the dilemma I have, though. Again, I've said this about a million times this year. This is not just affecting people that are breaking TOS. This is banning the other half of the community consistently. Every day I am being tweeted at saying people are getting wrongfully banned. I did not buy MT. I did not do this. I did not do this. All I did was I pulled this card and I sold him. I didn't do anything else in the game. I woke up and now I'm banned. That is an issue. Like, I don't understand how people are still somewhat defending what they are doing. I genuinely don't get it. But the fact that they are now taking away the auction house on people that are playing this game legit is absolutely disgusting. Now, do I think my man Matt Mojo is going to get unbanned? Yes, I do. I, I think that 2K is smart enough to realize that when somebody posts this 
and the entire community it's not even there's not even trolls in the comments on his twitter saying oh my god you deserve this ha ha get you know ha screw you ha whatever no every single comment under this is saying about how they are defending him and now normally when 2k sees that they understand that they're just stupid and they messed up this is exactly this type of situation this is again a guy that did nothing wrong he will be unbanned the problem i have though is that there's going to be a ton of you guys that are going to be wrongfully getting banned wrongfully getting your auction house taken away even though you guys did not break tos and that is the problem that i have with these bans again guys people have been trying to figure out what it is i mean i've been trying to figure it out like i said i i, I based on what i have said in the video about why i think people have been getting banned we have found a method around that and like i said since then it has been working so i do think i found out at least a part of what has been going on with these bands when you look at a guy like ty debo he made a video about it um and he has obviously he's been talking about where he thinks it has something to do with the evos being triggered and i can kind of see that because with the evos guys you have you know these cards that are you know dark matters but the thing is, is the cards might still be registering as diamonds or as pink diamonds or as amethyst or whatever they started out with. So if you do pull a car or if you do sell a dark matter like Desmond Bain or whatever, I believe he started out, if I'm not mistaken, I believe he started out as a, um, I, I want to say he started out as a, uh, a uh, excuse me, as an amethyst, which he did. Yeah, he started out as an amethyst. And he was able to get his first Evo that brought him to an Opal, dropped 36. And then the second one, he obviously went off again and he did get his Dark Matter. So the game might still be recognizing these cards as Dark Matter or as uh, Amethyst and lower tier cards. And because of that, it might be flagging the system a little bit more. Still though, guys, like I said, whether you are buying it or not, there is still the issue of the fact that people are getting wrongfully banned literally every single day in this game. This is a new band though like i said you are able to still play online so some people might not even care honestly some people might be like whatever like i don't care i'm gonna just play the game anyway 2k is just in 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 absolute piss guys like they are just they don't know what to do and the thing is is the solutions again have been right in front of their face since the beginning of the year we've been telling them since the beginning of the year what to do and they just don't listen at this stage, guys, I used to, I won't even lie to you. I used to say like the community is at fault for why this game is bad because people are so uptight for the gameplay. They don't want to get used to it in the beginning. So they start patching things and then the game starts falling apart on that aspect. The comp scene, everyone's trying to win. Everyone's trying to use the best cards. They're not trying to have fun anymore. So because of that, a lot of the promo drops have become utter, you know, useless basically. You know, and you have those two aspects, fine, whatever. Then you have the packs where people are, you know, I don't even know. I mean, the packs have just been bad. But like I said, the as far as the issues go and fixing them, we've been giving them the solutions the entire last couple seasons. And they don't care. They genuinely do not care. It's been the same issues in my team time and time again. This is why I say to stay away from VC. They don't deserve your money. I don't even... I This is the first time, guys, that I genuinely mean this. I don't know if I'm buying 2K24. Um... And I, as far as the content standpoint goes, like I want to, and that's probably going to be the only reason why I do, but I have no urge to play this game. I don't know about you guys. I have zero urge to continue playing this game into next year because at this stage, like they don't deserve our money as a company. They do not. I, I, I know some of you guys might be sick of me saying this, but the fact that I can go into a game like MLB here, I get my face cam back on. The fact that I can go into a game like MLB here, guys, and make this team no money spent, have some of the best cards in the game, like Chipper Jones, like Mike Trout, like Shohei Otani. Where is he? Where's Shohei? Like Shohei Otani, like Bob Gibson. Like I can have the best bullpen in the game. I can have all of some of the best cards in the game, like Lindor, you know? I can make this team and not spend a dime on this game. And I, I've spent my stubs like a dummy. I open packs every time I get to 75K. I obviously recommend not doing that. But if I save my stubs, I would have about 400K probably still sitting here. And with that, guys, there are a ton of other cards I could buy that are the best cards in the game. Like Ken Griffey Jr., I could have bought him and had him on the team. Volpe could have been on the team. Uh, who are some of these guys? 
Vlad could have been on the team. I mean, there obviously, like I said, there is just a lot of these different cards I could have picked up. I mean, I have the Shohei, obviously, but you guys can see the Trout and Shohei I have, guys, are like 100 and like 80 or uh, like 380k when you put them together. And that's kind of my point, where these guys are the best cards in the game that I've been able to get for free. Jorge Posada, same thing, could have had him if I really wanted to. Cattell Marte, you Darvish. There's a ton of these cards that you could have gotten by being no money spent. That option is not there in 2K. 2K is literally just falling apart constantly. They don't even know what to do anymore, guys. And they're doing it to themselves. I don't care. Y'all can say what they want. They are doing it to themselves. Let me know what you guys think, though. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, peace.